kicking. Can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some rings and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her, how I did it. Yeah. Spend the whole half, had a blast. Can I kick it? Even with a sprain. Pain, can I kick it? Just the flex I went. Tonight, from First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. It's week four of the NFL preseason on EA Sports. We'll see Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns. Taking on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We come at you from the shores of Lake Erie. EA Sports has the coverage of the NFL from First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. This was the scene a few minutes ago. The dog pound in full roar as their Browns emerge from their tunnel. And they're ready to go as they get set to match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Again, everyone with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Browns ball club. It's been a good season for them so far, and they're just looking to keep that momentum going forward. They like their record. Now they want to increase it. A win here could really get the momentum going in the right direction. On the other side of the field for the visiting Bucks, an early season tilt. And when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet. And both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. The Browns offense getting ready for their first drive as they will do so behind their quarterback in his third year now from Oklahoma. Baker Mayfield. And I think Baker Mayfield has had a tremendous offseason getting ready for this one because he put the focus squarely on football and cut out a lot of the peripheral stuff. Just focused in on being the best quarterback and leader for his Cleveland Browns team. And now all he has to do, take care of the turnover issues of last year. 21 interceptions he threw, second most in the NFL. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. The 31-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Kareem Hunt. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. It's third and one. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. Line of scrimmage, the 43. Three on second and four. Brings up second and four. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield quickly into the hands of Beckham. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Odell Beckham. 57 yards. And the Browns have taken the early lead. The electric OBJ, the short reception, and then he did the rest of the work himself. You know, there's a thing that the players always talk about, the coaches in the league, they call it play speed. Because, you know, we have that time speed when we're running the 40s at the combine and, you know, in pro days and all of that. But play speed is different. And OBJ's play speed is some of the best in the league. In other words, when he has the ball in his hands or he's running around, he runs it just a little bit harder than most people. And oftentimes, you come up wrong on your ankles trying to tackle him. 
And they'll watch this one fall in the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Buccaneer offense taking the field with all eyes in the stadium glued to their quarterback in season number 21. His first, of course, in Tampa, the great Tom Brady. Well, Parker, how many times do we talk about it going into a season? At some point, we have to figure that age is going to catch up to Tom Brady, but how long have we been wrong about that? I'd say probably about the last 10 years. Last year, he threw for over 4,000 yards again. Should go over 75,000 passing yards this score early this season. He's still got it. And what a new challenge he's got in Tampa Bay. Excited about the opportunity. Now we're going to get a timeout. Here's we've got an injured Buccaneer. Let's hope it's not anything that'll keep him out of the opener. We'll be right back. Now a second down and six. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. He'll buy some time right. There's the Penn State man. It's Chris Godwin. It's a first down on a gain of 10. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. From the 41, Brady, and now a fumble. Brady loses the football. Sheldon Richardson. Tom Brady sacked. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. So danger averted for the moment, but now here's a third and long. Shotgun now for Brady. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. That's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. So one first down on that drive, and that's it. Forced to take the deep shot on third down and couldn't hit it. Now they have to punt this one away. And this will be down just inside the 30-yard line. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice and it all came together. But I'll bet you it got galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He was trying to go back to Beckham there. And it's second down. Working out of the gun. Mayfield. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Mayfield. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, Mayfield. Forced out to his left. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. I like this effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it. He puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. At their own Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. And able to stay on his feet. Past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. 
A, a quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. At the 33-yard line. On second down and four. Brady, he completes it to Jones. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 12 yards there and a first down. First down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, he's going to make a play for me. I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Brings up second and eight. Brady now to throw. It's caught by Mike Evans. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 39. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Brady gives this one off to Jones. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Next to receivers, they'll spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. Being chased out left. This is caught. Gronkowski. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. A good pick up there. 26 yards. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. So here, the men in charge are going to be looking at whether or not the receiver had possession of the ball as he went out of bounds. And they have to make sure that the receiver got both feet down in bounds as well. relied on his eagle eye in the sky to make the right call and was told to challenge it and it looks like it's paid off and from a coach's standpoint when you throw that flag it's probably a pretty tense moment here it pays off yeah you have that little bit of indecision you throw it where you feel like you're right and then you think uh-oh did i get it right in this case they can celebrate back to back receptions for him and it's another first down and I put my first tally mark next to the Brady to Gronk counter here. I think it may be the first of many because once they get going, look out. Things tend to snowball. Tom Brady trusts Gronk as much as any receiver I think he's thrown to in his career. And it's evident and when you see that. And that's saying something. That's saying something right there. But he's earned it. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Brady, eluding the pressure right. He finds his target, it's Evans. Just a lot of work to get away and outside of the pocket, but no actual yardage there on the catch. It's second down. Second. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. On second down now. It's Jones, and all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. First and goal, Tampa Bay. That's the end of the first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Nothing. They'll come out in the pistol. Now it's the backup Gabber rolling to his left. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. 
He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Here's second and a yard. They'll try and run it with McCoy. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Touching it in from a yard away. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight-ahead power, and they got it done. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it ends with a LaShawn McCoy touchdown run. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Browns set and ready to go on offense, and they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so someone well, else. and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Three yards to go on second down, and they've got three tight ends out there. Jumbo set. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. The power move was there, but didn't buy him a whole lot. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up third down and two. The first throw now for the backup, Keenum. He's got his tight end, David Njoku. It's a gain of four, and it gives him the first. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Shotgun snap for Keenum. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. A hole to dig out of here. Second and 17. Play action, it's Keenum. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Flush to his right. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. Someone knew exactly where he needed to get to pick up that first down now. I'm not so sure about the technique in getting there, but he went for it, and he got it. Exactly. He knew where he needed to get, because remember, if he slides, when that derriere dips, if you will, that play's over. The derriere dips, I like that one. Yeah, been working on it for a little bit. A couple of first downs on the drive already as he'll go from the 47 now on first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. They'll run with Hunt on second down, and he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. He was taking the Browns on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and eight. From midfield, here's Keenum. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Cleveland Browns. That was just a good example of taking what the defense gave him. No one opened downfield, knew where his safety valve was, swung it out to him. He gets upfield and picks up the first down. Well done all the way around. On oh, first 
first down. Hilliard. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. From the 35 on second down, Keenum, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. The Browns on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and four. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. By the way, as we expected, most of the starting units out here in the second quarter. So get your two deep, your three deep, your four deep ready for this one. If you have a particular favorite who wasn't a high draft pick or is an undrafted free to try to make the team, this is the time to watch him play and give it his best shot because most of the starters, you're exactly right. They'll be out of the game watching the rest of the way. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. At their own 25-yard line. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. And That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Incomplete. Normally you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. On second down, it's Hunt. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. The good run on first down followed up by a not so good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running. Diving for the end zone, and the ball's knocked out. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but... It's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. They'll start the drive with a carry by McCoy. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line. Second and a yard.
Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. And he fires one incomplete. The tight end Cameron Bright was the target, and it's third and short. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Rolling to his right. That's complete to Auclair, the tight end. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Throwing again on second down. Gabbard. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, sometimes those cliches really come true, don't they? When it's about it takes all 11 to play good defense. We've seen that in this ball game. I think the secondary has to be singled out there. They are in the presence of every receiver whenever the ball's thrown. And this one, they help force another incompletion. Hard throw, incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And the Browns will take over first and 10. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. Still more than a minute to go, so there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well. So that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines, hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you... And it's a fumble, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Recovered by Tampa Bay. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two... I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. Vaughn on first and ten. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And finally marked down at the 23. That good for 19 at a first down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. to his running back Vaughn. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes and they were able to put the receiver on the ground. And oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Out of the gun, Gabbard. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Russ Cockrell. The pass intercepted. The Browns take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The 
The Cleveland offense ready to go. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. So we are halfway through here in the final week of the preseason. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. In our game, the starters are long gone, but still some intrigue to see guys trying to make a late roster push as we get you back out to Brandon and Charles. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. A good, tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. Now this will make it into the end zone. Ogunbowale elects to not bring it out. Getting set to go here, we see Blaine Gabbert march back out onto the field. And he's had some time to chew on that interception he threw on his last drive back in the first half. Well, normally we say, well, get him right back out on the field and play again, right? But as you mentioned, had the halftime, had to stew about it a little bit. Maybe he'll have a chance to relax a little, kind of laugh and chuckle and let it go. He'll hope to respond positively here to start the third quarter. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. Now a first down carry here for McCoy. And a good burst there gets him seven up to midfield. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Gabbert now from the 50. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Brandon, that just looked like a lot of confusion to me at the line of scrimmage. I don't think the offense had any idea of who was coming on the blitz and who was dropping off. And nine. And for the Browns, a nickel set here on third down. They go play action. Gabbard, they'll roll him out right. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. here didn't surrender any points now they'll look to add to that lead now how about the boost the defense gave them going right out on the field shutting them down not giving up any points and turning the ball back over they want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points and to get a little more cushion they know that old expression it's not my night it hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. A shotgun snap for Keenan. 
And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Out of the gun, Keenum. Flushed out right. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. At their own back now comes Tampa Bay. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They'll begin on the ground here with Vaughn. Tackle made there by Miles Garrett. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. 21 yards. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. They let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front. Completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space with big guys leading the way. They'll run on first down. It's Vaughn, and he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. So now second half week for the preseason, all the starters, they departed after one quarter. Some folks may call this garbage time, but don't tell that to the guys that are out there now. No, I would agree with that totally because there's still jobs to be won or lost during this portion of the game. This final opportunity for them to make a positive impression. From the red zone now, Gabbard. This is caught, and he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively, but they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll look to run with Vaughn. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Bucs are going to retake the lead. We got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space, but how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pads? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. And that makes it 14-10. So that lines up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. 
Now Donovan Peoples-Jones. And able to get this out to the 25. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure... They don't do that again. But let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. The ball credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now here's a throw, and that's Taewon Taylor with him. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. Joku, the tight end. Yeah, he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. This is Hunt. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup, and that'll do it for the end of the third quarter. You're watching preseason football on EA Sports. From the 28, it's second and five. From the gun, it's Keenum. He'll find Taylor, that's complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 18. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First and 10. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone, it's Keenum. This is the tight end to Joku. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Browns have retaken the lead. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So the drive there took six plays, and it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. 14. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. On the return, Dare Ogunbowale. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Bucks take over first and 10. 
at their own. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Malcolm Smith there for the stop. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Throwing on second and eight. Gabbard, and he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. The Bucks on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and eight. To throw is Gabbard. And it falls incomplete after all those being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. That'd be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. The Browns take over first and 10. Now the Browns offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation and taking care of the football paramount he got it done nursing that slim lead you're exactly right hold on to that ball he's gotten a joku his big tight end well they were unable to make anything really big out of that but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play throwing his keenum on third down Man open, that's Damian Ratley. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. down throw Keenum wide open receiver complete and they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20 that one goes for 24 yards but these guys are running offense like you drive the pedal is down stomp down how about that back-to-back -back completions they are rolling so much for being conservative and running that football so the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. On first down, they'll run with Hope. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. It's a 7-yard carry to set them up with a second and 3. Second and 3 from the 9. Brings up second and 3. Working from the gun, Keenum. And Joku pulls this one in. He's got it for a Cleveland touchdown. David Njoku ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Browns add six to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. A drive that time of six plays. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. Here's 14. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. On the return, Ogan Bawale. And he's able to get it up close to the 35, but hang on here. Penalty marker down. This one might be going the other way. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. 
And he is out of bounds right around the 34. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, Gabbard escaping the pressure right. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Throwing again, Gabbard on second and 10. He'll rifle this one deep right side. That's caught inside the 20. And way down into the red zone before he's dropped inside of Cleveland's 15. 52 yards. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. Partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one on one and the ball's in the air like that. Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. First down, Vaughn. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Polluting the pressure right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Remember throughout my career here, defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. And they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. The Bucks on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and 11. Flush to his right. Going to throw right side here. Complete. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. And they'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Steven Goskowski on for the field goal. A 22-yard attempt. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And this is back down to a seven-point game. 17. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Now Case Keenum and the offense heading back onto the field. And after a rough start, as we take a peek at the numbers, he's going in the right direction now. So often when you see a game start the way we saw this one start for him, you just wonder if he's got a chance to bring it back at all. And that's exactly what he's done. Love seeing that happen simply because you know a guy has struggled and now he's found a way to make things better. That's pretty good stuff right there. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They'll run again with Hunt, and he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Four yards the pickup, first down. First and ten at the 36. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. They'll run on first down. Hilliard, he's got the first down and more past midfield. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. Just what the Browns needed there. Good for a gain of 17. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field. They can't slow them down. They're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. 
It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Working with a second and four. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hunt. And he's taken down inside the 30. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. On first down, it's Hunt. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if you picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right, if it's college football, you want to be, second and one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down and actually aids the defense in that situation. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory here. And it took a big fourth quarter to do it, but bottom line, they got the job done. Yeah, it is the bottom line, isn't it? A few anxious moments along the way, though. A few sweaty palms, not just for the team, but for their fans. As you mentioned, down going into the fourth quarter. How about the rally? How about the comeback? Getting it done on both sides of the ball. Holding them when they needed to and finding ways to get points when they had the football. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Browns, and they're happy in the dog pound as we say so long from Cleveland.